we have a cork bar here. We have different kinds of substrate here. We have some different kinds of decoration for the enclosure. We have empty enclosure with finished background. And we have Linda here. That means rehouse. Even though I answer to this question a lot of times, apparently I need to answer it in every video. Linda, the Terrafosa Stirmi, she is the Goliath Barita Tarantula. Although she's not that Goliath at the moment, I mean big. You see, there she is with her butt in the air. She is still small, but she will grow to this size, or maybe even bigger when fully stretched. But all of you that are watching this channel, you will witness how she is growing. And now she definitely outgrown this CD enclosure. So it is time to move her into this enclosure. This is my new design. It is actually the same as the Balfouri enclosure, but this is smaller. The dimensions are 20 by 20 by 20. So with this perfect cube, it is perfect for a smaller enclosure, well, smaller enclosure, for smaller tarantula, smaller animal. This will be the first time that I'm using this enclosure, the enclosure of this size. Although I made four in total, this is the first one that we are setting up. So how this is going to go down? This cork bark, it will be a height. We have some moist cocoa fiber. We have some peat moss and we will mix that up and use it in this enclosure. I never use the mixture of cocoa fiber and peat moss. So this will be like an experiment to see how it will hold in a really humid enclosure. Because in case you don't know, all Terrafosa stirmis, so Terrafosa blondi, Terrafosa stirmi, Terrafosa apophysis, they all need really humid enclosure. So it will need to hold humidity well, but she also will dig. So the consistency needs to be suitable for digging. We'll see how it will turn out. But first, let's get her outside. And of course, reading her body language, you see that she is not happy with me shaking her enclosure. She's in that corner with her butt in the air. That means stay away from me. I will kick some hairs if you, if you mess with me. And Terrafosa's hairs are really nasty. Probably the worst out of all tarantulas. They stick hard in your skin and itch really, really bad. So I will try not to get haired a lot. Now also Terrafosa stirmis are really, really good eaters. So her reaction to me poking her will probably be bite on this, on this plastic straw. And this is why I prefer using plastic straw compared to metal tweezers, because she can easily hurt her fangs on the tweezers. Unlike plastic straw, she can just bite it and make a hole. Let's see the reaction. Oh, you see? <laughs> Hairs. But she's going up. That's good. Come on, little big girl. Look at her. Let's get some light on her. Nice. And also, once we make the enclosure and rehouse her, we will try to feed her. Now, Linda, how bold you are? Can you go down a bit so I can cup you? <laughs> Terrafosas really aren't that colorful, co colorful compared to other tarantulas, some other species. But they have that specific look. You can see, I don't know, there's something really nice. Probably the fact how fast they grow and how big they get. Oh. But in the air, you see, she doesn't appreciate me. Let's go, let's go. Don't be so mad. There. Now, you wait there while we set up the enclosure. I assume that she will soon molt, like in a month or so. And then after next molt, I will definitely need to rehouse her because they gain a lot of size. Not only that they grow fast, but also with each molt, they gain more size than regular tarantula. The majority of tarantulas. This is the top lid. You see ventilation. Ventilation on this front lid to make sure that there is nice circulation, nice air circulation because we don't want air to be stagnant. We want air to move around. Top straight. I should actually get another tub and mix it inside. I think that I will do like 50-50 mixture. So half of substrate will be peat moss and half of substrate will be cocoa fiber. And I want to have a lot of substrate in that enclosure. At least as much as I can put inside. I think that should be 50-50. They both have similar color, so 
there is not a lot of change in this. Let's also add a bit of sand just for, for fine detailing. There, not a lot. <laughs> the sand is also similar, so I don't think that this will be something special. But we need to try stuff. That's how you discover new combinations and new, better stuff. Nothing wrong with trying something and failing. It is much worse not to try at all. Let's see how many substrate I can put inside. Let's add the hide. I really want her to dig under it. That's why I will bury the hide. I mean, I won't make the obvious entrance. She will need to dig under the cork bark by herself. If she wants to have a hide. Should we add some plant? I don't think that I have anything appropriate, but I will check it out. I will actually use all the substrate. That's nice. Let me check the plants that I have. I have this, so why not? It will definitely add something to the enclosure. Whoa, there is a tiny centipede inside, look. <laughs> so cool. I don't know where it came from. Definitely the native one. They are small. Where did it go? Centipede, where are you? Here it is, look. <laughs> Awesome. And yeah, regarding the regarding the new centipede that I received from Marcus, I will pick the name in the next update video on the centipede. Or probably in the next feeding video. I don't know, we will see. But I think that I have the, the name. Will this even fit? Maybe I should just take one branch and put it inside and not the whole plant. Yeah, this definitely won't go inside. My bad. Let's see if we can split this. Majority of plants you can split, but I guess not all, so I will risk it with this one. Okay, I think that I have enough roots. Such a mess. Let's see where will we put this. Something like... Yeah, like that. Oh yeah. Some random stuff. Sand. Maybe a piece of this, this moss. And of course, leaf litter. There, nice little enclosure. And of course we need the springtails. Camera wasn't recording, yay! So anyway, springtails, you see? I mention this in every build video that I do. They help with keeping the enclosure mold free. They eat bad stuff in the enclosure. And overall, it is really good to have them. In moist enclosure, that is. They need humidity to survive. So, is that good enough? I think it is. I never used this plant in any of my enclosures, so it's got more unique look compared to the others. Let's put the top lid. And let's introduce Linda inside. Hey Linda, will you come here? Oh, Linda the bolt machine. There. Now just go straight and that's it. No? Yes? Don't want to move now? No, 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 wrong side. There we go. Wait a minute. That's your new enclosure. You have much more space than you had. Go ahead, check it out. We can wait, right? The macro shots. In the meantime. After she explored her enclosure a bit, it is time to feed her. Let me just set up the camera because I want to get it from two angles. At least I want to try to get it from two angles. And with this camera, slow motion. Okay, I think we are ready. Now we need the roach to go in the right direction. Let's hope for the best. No, 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 wait. Wait, Mr. Roach. I mean, Mrs. Roach because that's a female roach. 
No, stupid roach. Let's do it again, please. Give me a good clip. Woo! She got it. She got it. Nice, nice. I don't know how, how the slow motion will be, but this angle should be alright. Now Linda, give us a happy dance. That's what we want. That's what we need, right? That's why we all came here. To see Linda's happy dance. Go Linda, go Linda, go, go, go Linda. Hmm. I want to see Linda's happy dance. While we are waiting, let's open one fan letter. Oh, whoa, this is an awesome awesome gift it is from Janice and Bianca from from Germany and they noticed that I have asking Alexandria shirt in some of my videos they got me a picture with autographs from all the band members all band members and also they made a photo together with me you see it says Petko and there's a spider and there they are on the picture awesome thank you thank you and stickers nice I actually been to their concert in 2013, I'm not sure. I went in Vienna on their concert and I actually got on stage and I got a guitar pick from Sam and, and Ben. But I was so stoked with the fact that I'm on the stage that I forgot to make a video or, or ask for autographs or anything. I was so stoked, but now I have autographs. Thank you. This really, really means to me a lot. And Linda is still not happy dancing. Oh yeah, oh. What was the question in the, the letter? They ask if I can make a small video about springtails, how to keep them, breed them, food and everything. Since I already mentioned springtails in this video, I can just say about the whole care. Just a second. They are actually super easy to care for. Then they still not happy dancing, so we have some time. And look, Mitza is there, sleeping. <laughs> this is how I keep them. This is a charcoal. And you see down there there's water that's basically it you need to have closed enclosure you see no ventilation holes although this is not an airtight seal so there's still room for breathing but it doesn't let any humidity in i have this enclosure for like a year and i added water only once and it never evaporated so that's it you just put charcoal you just put water close them and you're done normal temperature i have 23 celsius in this room and also in my old apartment and they are breathing just fine and the food also super easy here i have you see regular rice nothing special and for colony of this size just that's it once a week you give them rice and they actually don't eat rice but they eat the the mold that appears on the rice that's all super easy to care for there is nothing more to it just that and they will breed like crazy. But Linda is still not happy dancing. Just chilling there. I still have one, one fan letter, so I will open that also. Letter within a letter. So, this is interesting. This is first letter that I received from India, from Bangkok. And it is from, hmm, not sure if I can pronounce it, Yai or Thai. Yai Weir, Thai Weir, where? Sorry, but I don't know. But. He's only four years old and this is him and he wrote me a letter actually his father wrote me a letter and also this is what he drew for me <laughs> awesome only four years old and he wants me to show in a video my top four favorite spiders i actually plan to do a top five of my favorite tarantulas video so stay tuned for that and you will find out which one are they he also wants to know why i like spiders honestly i really don't know there is just something that amazed me about them when all the way when I was a kid, just like you are now. Just something. I don't know what it is, but I really like them. But thank you for the letter. Now, Linda is still standing in that corner. No happy dance, but I'm determined, determined to record the happy dance. So I will actually, just like in last video, I will turn this camera off and leave this one rolling and do stuff around here that I need to do. And eventually she will start doing happy dance. We need a happy dance, right? We need it. See you in a second.
Uh -huh, uh -huh. Looks like it is happening. Or is she just moving around? Come on, Linda, what are you doing? And we have a happy dance. A bit slow happy dance, but definitely a happy dance. Woo! Really good happy dance. <laughs> Thank you, Linda, for that. I think we can leave you now to enjoy that juicy roach. That would be all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So see you again soon. Bye 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 bye.